in a world where a best-selling author has yet another Regency romance coming out. Like Pride and Prejudice? Like Sense and Sensibility? The Grand Sophie will blow all these films out of the water with a cannibal of love and a dropped hanky of hilarious misunderstandings. Producer Randy Patterson brings you The Grand Sophie. Starring Jesse Buckley and Stephen Fry. Critics are saying it's like a mashup of Austin and P.G. Woodhouse. If ever I should desire to please you, I shall know just how set about it. I dare say I shan't, but one likes to be prepared for any event, however unlikely. This writer published her first book at the age of 19. She went on to publish two books a year between 1921 and 1975. Almost all bestsellers. She was called the Queen of Regency Romance. Her heroine, Jane Austen, wrote six classic novels. This author wrote 56. Just like Austen, there are a host of TV and film adaptations of her work. <laughs> Actually, that last part isn't true. In fact, you probably have no idea who I'm talking about because, bizarrely, despite having legions of fans, this writer's work has largely been ignored by both critics and movie makers alike. Who am I talking about? Georgette Hare. Here's national treasure Stephen Fry. People just assume there's a genre now of, of Regency romance and that she's one of them and that she's like the others. And she isn't, as, as we who, who venerate her know, and it's annoying. And maybe the publishers haven't had the courage of their convictions to sell them as intelligent, uh, sprightly, funny, uh, rewarding books than they are assumed to be. Hare's biographer Jennifer Cluster says... The thing I've really noticed in the last 10 years or so is this decided shift in attitude to Georgette Hare. And I think that's to do with the enduring nature of her novels, the fact that she's still a bestseller uh, nearly 100 years after she published her first book. And the further away we get from her death and the more she continues to sell, I think the, the closer she comes to becoming a true classic author. Best-selling author of Chocolat, Joanne Harris, has this to say. Frankly, Hollywood is not very educated when it comes to, to literature. If it's not a modern bestseller, then it has to be one of the four books that they are aware of that are classics. Otherwise, it's an unknown quantity. And so getting together the kind of budget which would be necessary to make a, a fairly large costume drama, it's not necessarily a given, even with something which, as you said, is a no-brainer like, like Georgette Heyer. I don't really know why they haven't made something before now. I'm not sure how much I can say about that. That's I'm not going to speak out of school. Ever since I, I took on the agency to represent her, I've been trying to get television companies and film companies to produce her work. Utterly unexploited, don't understand why, yeah. wonderful stories. That was Andy Patterson, film producer, and Peter Buckman, literary agent for Hare's estate. To wrap up, are you now a Georgia hair convert? It's fun. It's a bit challenging. So overall, I would I would say I'm I'm a convert for sure. It's just you know, it's just not really my thing. I came into it thinking, oh, I'm really not gonna. This is gonna be such an onerous thing. But came away thinking, actually, I'm glad I read that. And I'm definitely a convert. Me too. Not time for a coffee. Join me on my journey to convert new readers to this wonderful author's work. Each week, I'll be reading one of my favourite hair novels with a random victim, <clears throat> a volunteer. If you want to read along, our book list is available on fablegazers.com. Along the way, I'll be playing amateur sleuth as I unpick the difficulties which face filmmakers when converting a book into celluloid. And I'll be talking to producer Andy Patterson, who worked on mega hits The Railway Man and Girl with a Pearl Earring, to chart his journey in trying to get Hare's best-selling novel, The Grand Sophie, from the page to the screen. My friend Beth Keen and I will also examine Hare's life over the time she wrote the novels we'll be looking at. And we'll speak to experts and celeb fans like Stephen Fry and Joanne Harris about what makes her work so special. If you love literature, romance, period films, and laughing, then you have to listen to Hare today. Coming soon to a podcast player near you.